So game development, when you're learning how to make a game, it's not me up there lecturing. I often teach these classes. I don't sit there and lecture and tell you, oh, this first you write this line of code and then you write that line of code. It's really about Come up, let's come up with an idea together and let's talk about it. And now um, here are some resources. We're gonna help you build this great idea that you have. And because we have a game development program, there's a lot of people interested in making games that they hang out together and work on games together, not only inside the classroom, but also outside of the classroom. I am part of a, a, an indie studio that's just uh, looking to break into the scene uh, called Lanternfly Games. And uh, we're working on our first title, Unipocalypse, which was first demoed at DreamHack. Uh, so our games program actually has a, a pretty fantastic relationship with a games distribution company called Game Jolt. It was through them that we found out about the opportunity to get some student games into DreamHack. And uh, a game that I had made just happened to be one of the ones that got in. Uh, ditto a game that uh, Tyler Wigginton, the guy who does our music, um, worked on. And so Tyler comes to me thinking, hey, uh, I'm looking for programmers to do this thing. You seem like you know a lot of people. Can you point me in the right direction? And I was like, well, funny, you should mention that. <laughs> and thus Lanternfly Games became a thing. So uh, thanks to you for helping me have a great relationship with Game Jolt <laughs> and, and helping all of those uh, fortunate, fortunate events uh, transpire at the right time. <laughs> Right, so the game development program was created, um, well, I don't know exactly, I think about 2004. Um, and the idea was really to, first of all, to talk to people from the game industry to understand what sort of skills they were looking for and how, how do you sort of train someone to go out and make games when they're done. Um, and so we talked to various companies and developed a program that there's sort of two sides to the program. So one is what we call the Bachelors of Science. Um, in game development, and this is very much like a traditional computer science uh, program, but what we did is we sort of picked some of the electives along the way so that you would make sure that students um, learn things about how do they make 2D games or 3D games and what are the algorithms behind them and, and how do you get good performance out of it and things like that that you might not get in a regular computer science class. Uh, so that was a big part of that. Um, and then the second thing that they needed for that program was a um, understanding of the art side of things. So w students who pursue this end up getting what's called an art cognate. And so it's basically five classes that are in the allied arts fields um, that help them understand how to communicate with artists. Because when you make games, you have to talk to artists, you have to talk to designers and, and various groups of people. That's a big part of it. Um, the second thing is uh, we have this other program that's called the Bachelors of Arts. And it's similar except that it's more of a what we like to call a right brain side and a left brain side degree because you're required to do a minor in Emerging Digital Practices, but also you do a Bachelor's of Arts in Game Development. And so this has less technical requirements, but has more of a mix and a blend of doing art. So you could become maybe like a technical artist or something like that for a game company. Um, and the key to all of these is that in the end, you do what's called a capstone. And the capstone is a bigger project that goes over 20 weeks, so it goes over two quarters here. And you work with a team of people, and you work with faculty members, and we bring in people from industry to look at the games and, and get feedback. Um, and then, uh, then you can have like a, something really nice for your portfolio. <laughs>